a method to create a 3D structure having defined our 2D frame is with the aid of a special tool called the Generator 3D. We initiate the Generator 3D, then we define a new name for our 3D model. and we bring in the 2D frame we have previously defined. There are various methods for creating a 3D structure. One of them is by copying the initial frames in other locations in space. So we will request the creation of a second frame in 5,000 millimeters, a third in 10,000 millimeters, and a fourth in 15,000 millimeters. We will also request the generation of beams between these nodes. We will then save our 3D structure and then close generator and bring it in Linear 3D for further processing. Everything that we have defined in the 2D frame has been copied to the other frames as well. What remains to be defined is the bracings on the side of the building and on the roof and the definition of the profiles of the rails and the purlins. Instant in Linear 3D provides a series of tools for easily working and introducing new beams and new properties. Let us go back to Generator and make our building with larger dimensions. Going back to Generator, we reopen our previous project, change the units to meters, and redefine the distances between our frames. So we're now introducing nine frames save close the generator and let's input back our new model we shall now introduce bracings for the building. First we will define some work areas in 3D such as the roof, the left side of the building, the right side of the building, select the roof, work on a plan view and now here we can define bracings in the purlins we will select and keep in our selection those bracings Save this selection under name Roof Brace. We can now turn to 3D view and we can copy our selected 
tracings by using the copy tool to a new location of 24 meters in the z-axis. Adding an extra frame is a very easy operation. Plan view, select all the beams that we want to copy. as well as the new joints that we need to create. So we have selected completely a frame and the incoming purlings and rails. And we can now copy this at a distance of six meters. We can now copy our racing to our first frame by recalling our selection and making a copy of our selection at 48 meters. In the same method, we can work for our side bracings. So again, we're going to use the 3D cut tool for the left. And we can visualize it in 2D. So we can introduce our bracings. and we can copy them to the right side by selecting them and use a single copy in the X direction by 20 meters. Producing a two spans model is fairly easy. We enter the selection mode, then we select the beams and the nodes that we have to copy. the selection the span is 20 meters and I want the second one at uh, X distance of 20 meters of course with a copy all section properties and loads that have been defined have been also copied to the newly created members the remaining operations for introducing or modifying loads and introducing new sections is similar to the demonstration of the duty structure.